an anatomical approach to the causes of jaundice and portal hypertension. This short presentation looks at the material necessary for medical students studying liver disease in anatomical pathology. Essentially, there's the biliary system over here, which is responsible for storing bile and then sending it down into the duodenum at the appropriate times. There is the arterial blood supply, the hepatic artery proper, which has its origins from the celiac trunk, carrying blood into the right and left lobes of the liver, that's to say oxygenated blood. And then there's the hepatic portal system, outlined in purple here to differentiate it from the systemic venous circulation. Uh, the purple structures here indicate the superior mesenteric vein, which drains venous blood from the midgut. The inferior mesenteric vein, draining blood from the hindgut. Usually the anterior mesenteric vein joins directly into the splenic vein running from the spleen, but it can on occasion join in at the intersection between the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein or even drain directly into the superior mesenteric vein. However, in classical descriptions, the superior mesenteric vein joins up with the splenic vein and that runs up to form the portal vein going into the liver. The splenic vein and the portal vein drain the derivatives of the foregut directly that go into the portal system. And then running posterior to the liver, over here is the inferior vena cava, which is bringing systemic blood, systemic venous blood, from the rest of the body. As a reminder, the biliary system, the arterial system, and the portal vein, these three structures run in the free edge of the lesser amentum, which you will recall um, runs as a layer of double peritoneum going from the liver down to the stomach on the lesser curvature of the stomach. Jaundice is a very common problem associated with liver disease and may present clinically with uh, a yellow discoloration of the skin or a yellow discoloration of the sclera of the eye and can also be seen uh, underneath the uh, tongue. If one asks uh, a patient to lift up their tongue and view it from underneath, you can also see the yellow discoloration there, which is a helpful sign in very pigmented people. Three types of uh, causes of jaundice are listed here uh, on an anatomical basis. The first one over here, the prehepatic cause, is a result of the breakdown, for example, of um, many red blood cells producing porphyrin pigments, which are then uh, extracted through the spleen from the breakdown of the red blood cells, for whatever reason, and that unconjugated bilirubin is then carried off through the portal system to the liver. The liver then will degrade those, those pigments further, allowing them to be excreted through the biliary system and through the urinary system. The next anatomical cause is uh, intrahepatic causes, for example, hepatitis. In this case, the liver itself is the problem because the hepatocytes can no longer degrade the bile pigments that it receives, and therefore there is an accumulation of unconjugated bilirubin uh, within the blood system. A third anatomical cause is referred to as being post-hepatic. In this, in this case, the obstruction occurs to the biliary system, for example, uh, a tumor arising in the um, bile duct system. The commonest one that we see there is probably the head of pancreas tumor, where the bile duct, the common bile duct, will run through the head of the pancreas, and a tumor will then obstruct it, causing back pressure on the fluids within the biliary system, proximal to where the tumor is, and resulting in dilatation or an enlargement of the, of the uh, biliary, biliary tract. This is sometimes referred to as surgical jaundice, 
and can be quite easily diagnosed by performing an ultrasound over the liver region and seeing that the bile ducts are indeed dilated. Another common form of disease associated with the liver is that of portal hypertension, in which the pressure of blood as it is draining through the portal system towards the liver is dramatically increased as a result of an obstruction to the system, thus resulting in a build-up of blood um, in these tubes and an increase in back pressure from wherever the veins of the portal system may be coming from. While continuing to use the anatomical uh, approach, one form of portal hypertension may be a consequence of obstruction to the portal vein itself with the development of portal vein thrombosis, thus preventing blood draining into the liver and resulting in back pressure down into the portal system uh, from where the veins originate. Uh, the there are many causes of portal vein thrombosis, which I'm sure will be tackled with you in your pathology section. The next step that we could look at is the intrahepatic cause of portal hypertension, the commonest being cirrhosis. Of course, there are many causes of cirrhosis, alcohol being one and a very common one, but there are other causes. And the resultant destruction, destruction of liver architecture impedes the flow of blood coming from the portal system running through the liver sinusoids of, uh, in order to exit through into the inferior vena cava and that obstruction then results in increased pressure of blood in the portal system. And then a third type can occur uh, after the uh, liver, in this case it's referred to as post sinusoidal a syndrome known as the Bud Chiari syndrome, in which there is an obstruction of blood flow in the hepatic veins, draining into the inferior vena, ca inferior vena cava, results uh, again in increased um, pressure um, within the liver, which gets transmitted uh, back into the portal system, again giving rise to portal hypertension. Bud Chiari syndrome may arise as a consequence of thrombosis, Within the, um, within the hepatic veins, or there may be uh, some compression by an outside structure, uh, such as uh, a tumour. These various anatomical approaches to the understanding of liver disease should help you in your pathology, but there are other ways of looking at these conditions which the anatomical pathologists will doubtless discuss with you.